What is up, YouTube? We're on the fucking road again. We're on the road again. I decided no markets this weekend. I ain't getting up at 5 a.m. So I'm driving an hour's drive to Belmont. Belmont in Western Australia. I'm gonna try the uh, op shop thrift shops there. Um, I actually haven't done those ones yet. Yeah, so I haven't done those ones yet. Uh, there's a Good Sammy's, there's a Biddy's, uh, there's a Save the Children or something, I'm not sure. And there's four of them anyway, four or five. Anyway, I haven't been there. We'll check them all out. Hopefully we can get some good shit for show and tell. All right, let's go for it, Dan. Let's do this. Let's do it. Come ride with me, let's thrift, let's thrift all day. When you go down to Upshop Town, don't have a dog shit day. So ride with me, let's thrift, let's thrift away. Wow, I really haven't been in this area before. Alright. Let's do this guys, let's fucking do this. No more fucking blah 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 fucking talking by me. Alright, first one we go into is good Sammies. I love a good good Sammies because they always have good good prices. Uh I go against my tradition and I grab a basket. I always think it's bad luck if you grab a basket. I never usually find anything. But anyway, I do alright. <clears throat> alright, found this Jersey Day jersey. Uh, it was not to, meant to be for any team, so I didn't really uh, grab that. I couldn't find any comps on it at all, but we gave it a look at anyway. Uh, this store up here in Belmont was pretty fucking sweet. They had so many good jeans, they had so many good shirts, they had some good toys, good DVDs. Um, I'm just spewing, my knowledge isn't that great. Otherwise, I would have picked up a shit ton more of what I actually picked up. Um, that shirt looked alright, but it was a no-name brand. So, left that one behind. And I like to just show you kind of what I don't grab, really, when I go uh, on these ride-alongs. And if you would have picked them up yourself. Uh, here's an example of a fake AFL jersey. That is fake if you... As soon as you look at that, you can tell that that is a fake piece of shit. Don't grab that stuff. Make sure you know your real jerseys. Look at that shirt. That would have been... I would have brought that just for me, but it wouldn't have fit. It was only a small. So make sure you know your jerseys. Uh, move on to these shirts. This shirt wasn't too bad. Not bad looking shirt, but uh, when I looked up at comps, uh, I, I couldn't find this brand. This brand didn't look like it sold. <clears throat> but uh, that's alright, I'll chuck that sucker back in and we'll let some other motherfucker pick that up and uh, they can uh, wear that around for five bucks as well. Pretty sweet price, pretty sweet price, Mr. Rob Shop Man. So, we have a look through all these shirts and um, we uh, find ourselves up here a uh, nice little Darth Vader uh, shirt. I didn't bother picking that one up because it wasn't vintage. It was one of those Kmart shirts. Uh, one of those Kmart um, Star Wars shirts that they usually sell for 10 bucks anyway. So I'm not going to pick that up for $5. But uh, I wish this wasn't in small. I would have picked up this Mexican wrestling shirt. Not to sell, just to wear. And that would have been fucking awesome. Nothing like a cool Mexican wrestling shirt. The Sacramento Kings. This was a nice sweatshirt. Um, it was old and a little bit faded. Uh, it was an official NBL, NBA one, but uh, I wonder if we got some more right money for it. Spider-Man, but um, Pac-Man, but uh, nah, I didn't bother with it. I don't know what team jersey that was, but uh, I left that behind. Check this out, Chucky. Chucky from Rugrats smoking a doobie. I don't even know. I don't even know what that fucking now uh, is. That branded is like is that a band or something? I don't know. They use Chucky's fucking picture there, but he's smoking a blunt. 
over to the pretty boy shirts and uh, I couldn't find anything in the old collared shirts uh, I couldn't find any uh, Mahama for your fuck your mama uh, shirts or anything else that was uh, any good but uh, still had a quick little look skis through and like I said this was a damn good thrift shop really good thrift shop I actually filled my basket I did pick up this shirt I don't uh, I'll show you on Thursday um, it was a brand I could not find on comps, but I couldn't not get it. It was, it was, it was a nice shirt. Someone would go wear that at a nightclub and doof, doof all night long and uh, have a good time. And then they'll probably throw it out. So we'll see if we can get any money for that. Let's look for the jeans. There's heaps of jeans, heaps of jeans, West shit. Heaps of that crap. Uh, but uh, I had a little look through and I did have a little bit of success. I did have a little bit of success, I do say so. Um, I can't even remember what fucking brand that was, but I think I picked it up. And same with these ones, I can't even remember what brand they were, but I do think I picked them up as well. Uh, I had some uh, good luck with the old jeans. DVDs in here were a bit overpriced. Uh, you find that at a lot of uh, thrift stores, overpriced DVDs. But we still had a little look through and uh, nothing tickled me fancy. Nothing grabbed me and uh, blew me away with the price. Well, the prices blew me away with it being fucking $10 a season for a TV series. Fuck that. They can go suck a dick. I'm not paying that shit. I want to fucking pay a dollar. That's all I want to pay is a dollar. I look for the PlayStation 2 games. They had a fair few PlayStation 2 games. Smack down, know your role, and shut your mouth. I uh, already got that at home. I had a look up on comps before I left to see what I could sell it for, but it only goes for $8. So, to buy it for 5 bucks, I only make $3, and then the fees and all that crap. Not worth my time at all. And someone left a pair of jeans up there, and I moved them because fuck that, they were in my way. So, we'll have a look and uh, see what they missed. And we'll go through the little jeans there. And uh, I think it was another little thrifter thinking that they'll... Uh... But I love going through when you see other people that are resellers and uh, they miss stuff. I found this pair of jeans. I'll show you on Thursday what brand it was. But they look like they were stained and paint. But no, they're actually a pretty decent pair of jeans. And I have a little look skis and it was definitely worth me taking them home. This is crazy how many people are in here. So I've only been to Good Semis and I think I just got a good lot of shit. I only spent 25 bucks, but that's gonna be a good lot of show and tell. All right, let's go to Selvos. It says on the door you can't take your bag in. So let's see what happens. All right, we're in. We're in and I'm taking me bag in and I didn't care. I didn't fucking care what the sign says. They can get fucked. So, <clears throat> we move on through. This store wasn't that great, but it was, it was decent. It was decent enough. Now, uh, looky what we got here. We got a nice little St. Kilda jersey. I take that motherfucker straight off the old mannequin there. That's a part of my bloody thrift bingo. Found a, uh, it's an away, it's a team that's not in my state, so, it's not in my state, so I'm, Claiming it as a part of my bingo. So there's my first bingo. St. Kilda, that was a $9, $9, um, $9 jersey, that one. That, good pickup, actually. I'll fetch about 50, 60 bucks, I think. Anyway, um, so that's pretty good. Alrighty. So not bad. That one's gone straight in my basket. Nine bucks, I'm happy with. I'm over past the uh, jeans and the shoes and all that jumbo shit. This, looky what I found right here. Is it, could it be? Could it be my fucking second pair ever? In a matter of weeks? Oh, fucking oaf it is. Fucking oaf it is. You know it. You know it. Another pair of nudie jeans. Two time nudie jeans. <clears throat> Anyone know that brand right there? 
I fucking have no idea. Couldn't find anything on comps. So I chucked that one back. No good. No good. No good. Couldn't find it. But looky what I found here when I was uh, having a look through the shoes. Now these blue shoes are what caught my eye to start off with. And I picked up these little blues. And they look crap. But then as I was about to walk away, in the corner of my eye I noticed that shoe that was backwards and there was only one shoe. I picked it up and we've got an $18 pair of Reebok Pump. You little fucking beauty. Fucking Reebok Pump. You're shitting me now. Would you have paid $18 for these or would you have put them back? Tell me, would you have paid $18 or put them back? I'm telling you now, I fucking paid the $18. I was taking the risk. Looked like I put them back, but I actually grabbed them. So now look through here. This Manchester United. Now all the bandwagon Manchester United fans would have frothed at fucking buying this shit. Uh, but this was $13. The patch was coming off a little bit. Um, I think it was only a large. But it was a Nike brand uh, Manchester United jacket zip up. It was actually really, really, really nice. Really nice jacket. Uh, 13 bucks, so I couldn't really find anything on comps. I always look for the children's section, uh, just for football jerseys. Not for kids' clothes, but for football jerseys. And for 5 bucks, sometimes you pick them up for 3 bucks. Why not? Because you can get $20 for the kids' jerseys. So, make sure it's a real jersey. And you can always look for the kids' stuff. Just for jerseys, not for fucking kids' clothes. And looky what was to my right. Ah, oh, bed sheets. Always look for bed sheets. I've told you once. I'm not gonna fucking tell you again. And looky what I find. Another fucking Star Wars. Another Star Wars. This is not as vintage. It's uh, I don't even think this one is vintage. Uh, but it's still a Star Wars bed sheet. You know, if I'm paying three dollars or four dollars for that, and it goes for twenty five, thirty, it's 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 not rocket science. It's not fucking rocket science, man. So, I don't want that pepper pig. Fuck off. I'll eat my bacon for breakfast with me eggs. But I definitely want Darth Vader. I want that Darth Vader. And I'm taking it. I'm fucking taking it. I'll show you show and tell. Lordy, lordy, lordy. I think I just got some good shit. I just found some more nudie jeans, my second pair of nudie jeans. Two time nudie jeans champion. And I found some Reebok pump. Don't know if they are. Don't know if they're vintage or not, but uh, they're 18 bucks, so they fucking better be. So I'll show you them at show and tell. I'll clean them up, I'm nice and good. Alright, let's go to the Anglicare op shop, and then we've got Vinnie's. Stoys! Fuck, two thrift stores and I've already spent nearly a hundred bucks. I don't usually spend this much. Fucking clothes are killing me, man. Clothes are killing me. Alright, we head on into this save the fucking children with overpriced items. Fucking overpriced. I tell you what. Fucking, the, the, the amount that they put on these items in here is just ludicrous. It's fucking stupid. Stupid. They're never going to save the children. They're never going to fucking save the fucking children with prices like this. This jumper was pretty good, but it's just crazy prices. I'm not paying 25 bucks. 25 bucks. These socks, $5, still sealed, football socks. Yes, people will buy them, but I've seen those socks for $8 in those packets from your Kmart's. So fuck off. I'm not paying that shit. This Celtics, man. This Boston Celtics jersey tank top. Official NBA. It was an American one as well. Would have fetched some good money. But $25. I tell you what. This shop can definitely suck it. They can definitely go suck it. Not paying... I think they wanted 50 bucks for the fucking Eagles jersey. Yeah, fucking crazy. Save the children. You should be ashamed of yourself. So I get the fuck out of there and didn't buy one thing because they can just fuck off. Seriously, their prices are just dog shit. So we go into Vinny's, our second most hated fucking store. 
We all hate the old Vinnies, but we give it a crack every time anyway and whinge about the prices. I think we all fucking whinge and bitch and moan. But Vinnies was actually pretty good for me today. Not in the clothes, but in the media aspect. <clears throat> so, I have a little look through. The clothes, I couldn't find. There's a fake jersey for you. That West Coast Eagles jersey is fake as shit. And if you couldn't tell from looking at that, at first look, rewind it, and just look how fake that is compared to one of the other jerseys that you saw before. Uh, these footy boots were a no-name brand. I didn't know uh, them, so I didn't bother with them. And I actually still looked them up on comps. Couldn't find anything. So, jeans. Didn't have much luck with jeans up in this uh, this one here, but uh, that's alright. Uh, shit happens, because the first two thrift stores were fucking gold mines. Oh, make sure you tune in on Thursday for show and tell, because I tell you what... Ah, oh, mate, I got some good shit. But, this rack here was no good. It was fucking dog shit. Once again, the prices here in Vinnie's were just fucking dumb as shit. I don't know why people pay it. So, they had all these blank media tapes, 50 cents each. I was happy with that, with the videos being 50 cents. But then I found all these ACDC and Guns N' Roses ones for $3 each. That Little Mermaid was mine. I brought that for 50 cents. Do not judge me. That is for my own Little Mermaid collection. You fucking judge me. You're on a third strike, mate, and you can get the fuck out. All right? Don't fucking judge me with my Little Mermaid. So, Little Mermaid, ACDC, look, you're fucking, look, I'm embarrassed. I'm out. Well, I just got those ACDC ones that uh, said three bucks on them. Got them for, uh... shit, it's one o'clock already. Uh, got them for 50 cents each. Well, guys, that was a real wicked day of thrifting. That was actually really fucking good. Really, really good. Got my second pair of nudie jeans. Bang. How do you like that, Flipper? Uh, I crossed one off my bingo list. I've got a uh, official AFL jersey, official AFL jersey, St Kilda one. Um, I think it's from the 2000s. Uh, but anyway, I did get an Eagles one as well, kid size, but uh, I'm not allowed to get anything from my own state for the bingo. So the St Kilda one counts, so bang, there's one off my list. Still very uncomfortable looking through the women's clothes. Very uncomfortable. Don't like that. So you know you gotta end a good day. You gotta end a fucking good day with some takeaway. Should I get Maccas? Should I get KFC? Should I get Maccas or should I get KFC? Oh shit. Red Rooster as well. Oh no. Alright guys, I got KFC. That's it. That was fucking like, subscribe, do what the fuck you want. I'm out of here. I'm going home. I'm gonna eat this while I'm driving. So I will see you next time. Show and tell Thursday. Don't forget Thursday show and tell. See you! Come ride with me, let's thrift, let's thrift all day. When 